Okay, you've done this again. I can do it. Done it twice, because I've gotten more than twice, but you can do it again. Hey guys, welcome back to another figure review. So first off, I want to say he comes with this rifle. I'm sorry if you can't know, I'm really annoyed. So, I'm just going to go through this quick. It has a grapple hook attachment, guys. Way better than this version, which I think. Second off, here he is, incomplete. I'm going to go over articulation. Bull joint at the head. Oh, plus has a removal helmet. Bull joint at the head. Movable shoulders. Mm, elbow movement, if I can get the right hinge. There you go. Swivel at the wrists. Movable legs. Movable knees. And ankle pivot, which I think, as I've said two times already, is the best ankle pivot I've seen them release on a Star Wars figure. Just so just nice. <sighs> just so satisfying for me to just do this. I don't know why. Oops. Alright, let's just show you the figure complete without the propulsion pack. And this was released in 2011, guys. 2018 now. You can do the math. How old these figure, this figure is. Here he is. Complete. You know. Here's his helmet. Here's his, uh, jetpack, as people call it. And here he is looking with his rifle displayed. I do want to say his movement, for some reason, I'll make most Cody figures. I find this one kind of hard to just be able to even, even if I wanted to play with this figure. I feel like this is a little restricted, some of the movement. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the two versions I have. And I don't know if other people experience it, you know, like, here you go. That's kind of, like, weird, you know, kind of got to hold it weird sometimes, so. I don't know, it's weird. Helmet design-wise, it's really nice, actually. Pretty accurate to the movie. This is actually, uh, looks like the little markings on his, uh... I just don't want to focus. It's more, it looks like it's, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Like, a sticker, because it's kind of metallic-y for me. Here's a jetpack. Here's his helmet. Very nice. I don't know why my camera's not focusing. Here he is with the potion pack and pretty nice, you know. Um, he doesn't come with the, he has a holster as you can see on the chest. My camera's not focusing. Focus. I don't know why. First off, I want to say these are movable. They're like turrets. If it's a little blurry, I'm sorry guys, it's not focusing that well. This right here is meant for a pistol, but it didn't come with it. So, you know, if it came with it before, and to, if they actually thought of that, because they gave it to Rex, and I found this same figure, I probably would have gotten him fully completed, except that's alright. I'm I don't care. Uh, even without the pistol, I think he's alright. Um, this is, this propulsion pack has been released before, but in like 501st colors. Came with a 501st jetpack, but this is Cody's jetpack, so... I'll probably see what it looks like on another clone. Here's the back without the chip pack. You know, down weapons, you know. Probably for the kids, you know. Kind of look down, so. Yeah, I don't care so much about the pack. I actually like the pack. Fortunately, I can't take it off because, you know, like, these are just too close to the rockets, so it's kind of going to be annoying. Also, this I don't like. Look at this. Just It's kind of like, kind of like. Just being now, it's kind of like you can see, kind of put to the force to the side. I don't like that about the figure. Oh, uh, he oh he does have a swivel waist. I forgot to mention that his waist does is a swivel. So you know, forgot to mention that to you guys. Uh, I love the battle damage they went with this figure. I really feel like that's accurate to the show. So I'm just gonna put the bag pack on this Cody. If I can put it on. So I'm just going to put it on in the back just because, you know, why not? You know, um, but yeah. So, I actually had this Cody displayed in a previous video using this model of the rifle. So, you know, kind of trying to compare the two. Although, I wish they uh, released more figures like Cody with uh, more damage because, um, you know, battle damage is nice. And as you can see, he's a little top heavy, so I have uh, stands here for them. If I can give him his rifle, he'll hold the rifle, there we go. And then you, sir, can you not drop your rifle right now? 
Sorry, I'm really annoyed. Ruined twice, so this is like my third try. You know, I wish that uh, this white clone trooper I'll do a review on. I do wish they gave him battle damage like they did with Cody, but you know, whatever. I, I'm fine with it. Yeah, so. What else can I say about this figure? I think this new mold is really interesting. They went for a newer mold for the DC rifle with the cable. I think this is Cody's the only release. I think this is the only figure with a ever in the Star Wars toy line that has a rifle that has a weird that has a attachment or even they didn't even make the carbine with this. I mean, I've we've seen it with the cable, but they only made it with the rifle, which is kind of weird. Oh well. At least Hasbro made it, you know? It's a new rifle variant. Actually, one of my favorite rifle molds slash variants they made for the Clone Wars line. I'll pro I'm so tempted, though, to track another Cody down so I can have one with the propulsion pack, you know, and then have the other one sort of there with my accessories and then have another one sort of just, like, completed. But I don't know. I might do that. I don't um, I really don't know. Shout out to, uh, to Dopey, which is the eBay seller who sold me this. He did a great job for, uh, for this, so, you know, definitely go, if you go on eBay and searching up Star Wars figures, you may find a list, few listings. Um, yeah. So, also, he holds his weapon weird, so that's kind of frustrating. Again, with, with, with the propulsion pack on, I'm going to go with the movement he has available. <laughs> he has a movable head with the propulsion pack on. His arms are... Move to the side, except really not this one too much. Um, you can go, he has the movable elbows, swivel the wrist, movable legs, which are uh, sort of limited, the knee and the pivot, which I really like. And that's with the propulsion pack on, I showed you without it. Uh, what else can I say about this pack? Oh yeah, it's a re-release, I don't know if I mentioned that, this is a re-release, so let me put him back on his, on his stand. So this figure is re -re has been released before, so it's more of a re-release nowadays. <sighs> oh, man. Just trying to get this done quick. Also, I do like this interesting respirator design, so that's kind of cool. Rebreather, respirator. Although I wish he came with the pistol like Rex did, but he didn't. So that's it for this figure review. I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep collecting. <sighs> you know... I'm going to force through with you.